Hello guys, the DB Grinder here back at again with another video and this time it is the Clout Tournament Finals and we have top tier Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Blade YGO. Uh, before we hop in, make sure you guys go subscribe to them. Also, shout out to Milano. Uh, he didn't he was in this tournament, but he didn't end up getting a feature because his top eight opponent dropped right when the tournament started, and then his top four match was like three minutes long. So a uh, special shout out to Milano, the duelist too. Make sure to go subscribe to him on YouTube. All three of their uh, channels will be down below in the description. Also, all three of them are invited back to the next cloud tournament. Uh, I know I said only first and second place would be invited back, but Milano didn't even get on the channel, so he's also invited back. So if any of you guys want to come back, just message me. And uh, let's hop right in. So we're going to see Blade YGO when the rock, paper, scissors shoot. Uh, 40 versus 41, he's going to choose to go first. Opening hand is Misk, set rotation, imperm, OV, arch. So this is a good hand. Uh, one hand trap, and it's a low impact hand trap, which isn't good. Uh, but he does have his engine, like a way to Mystic Mind. Then he has connector, nib, durendo, gamma, nib. Uh, Infernoble can pretty much play through like everything going first. I'd say this is definitely the best deck going first. Um, it's going to normal summon connector, use the effect, bring out Aqua Dolphin, then Aqua Dolphin, get rid of Gamma to hit Arch out of hand. And then he's going to link those off for a Sold, a Sold effect to search for Red Lair. And then he's going to use the effect to send, dump two. He's going to impermanent. And then Durendal, and that's going to add all over. And then he can just banish two from Grave to add back. And then go into Link Cross, Link Cross effect, bring out tokens. And then Discard Blade, bring out Oliver. Goes in the Needle. He knows that there's no hand traps. Brings out 001. Make Formula, draw a card. Draws OG here. Goes in the metal, metal effect. It's going to bring back formula. And then it goes for the Mechum Phantom Beast, bring out tokens. He's going to get to bring out 001. This is definitely looking like it's going to be game. He's going to make power tool, power tool effect. Because he can Omega hit a card from hand if he wants to, or make Savage, that would work too. Um, smoke grenade, rip a card out of hand. Yeah, he's gonna be able to do a decent amount. Adds living fossil. Uh, Mechum Phantom Beast effect, tribute two, bring out Colt Wing. And then effect, bring out tokens, and double a one bring itself out. And then he's gonna make Roland. Use that effect, then go into Omega. Living fossil. Bring back 001. This could have been done better. Yeah, for sure. Um, does have like a level 2 tuner engrave if he wanted to use that during the combo. And he would have been able to do more. Make savage, savage effect. Equip Needle. Like, uh, without thinking too hard about it, I think um, he had Harold, Charles, Savage, and just missed the Harold, which sucks, because Harold is huge versus this deck, and it's an extra negate. He's going to send Living Fossil at Gearfried for a follow-up, and then Charles is going to get the Smoke Pop, and he's going to hit Ovi at a hand, draws Lost World, He's going to activate Lost World, Normal Summon Misk, Lost World Effect, and then he's going to chain Charles. I mean, not Charles. He's going to chain Roland to Charles, so that way he can get this effect. Oh, no. He's letting it go through. Uh, goes to battle. Um, he can't use the token because it has to target a warrior, and he can only target the token, and it's a dino. 
Yeah, so he's going to go to battle phase, misc attack the token, lost world protect. And he's going to get baby, savage negate. And then he's going to mystic mine him. Yeah, just activate mystic mine, then pass. Uh, draws gamma. There's probably nothing that he can just link into to get down the one monster. I mean, if he plays like barricade blocker and access code, he can. But I, I doubt it that he plays both because he can normal summon, go in the blocker, then use all four for access code. He's going to tribute for gear. Then go into his sold. Hey, if he does play the access code, I mean, he does have it. There's a couple of things he could do. Like access code, pop the board. Um, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, this is like a weird place to be in. But he can't do anything. Um, so he's just going to pass turn, draws conductor, uh, crash into the Mechum Phantom Beast, draws Fire Flint Lady, draw Misk. So I'm just going to like skip forward until something starts happening. Ooh, Extravagance. We're going to look at what he banished. Uh, banish 6, draws Nib and Lost World. Only... Alright, so this is good. These are good banishes. Um, I wonder if he's playing an out, because some people on, like, DB rated or in, like, tournaments and stuff have been playing one Harpy's Feather Duster or one Cosmic in their deck just out Mystic Mine. So, there's definitely a possibility that there's one in his deck. Um, he's thinking here. I don't know what he's thinking about. Yeah, I was gonna, he can't activate that because set rotation. Set rotation used to be crazy. They'd set rotation you and you just leave the field spell set forever. Draws connector, just not an out. You could have tributed for Nib if you wanted to, to get down the one monster. Draw OV. And then, uh... So, right here, um, he, like, says, like, oh, man, like, he has a meeting and stuff, and he has to go and give him the game one win, but, uh, they actually say, like, right here that he didn't even have an optimistic mind, so it, it was just game anyways, so it didn't matter about the meeting or not, uh, but now moving on into game two, which is technically in a different replay since, obviously, he had to go in the last one, so then... The second replay, we're going to see Infernal will go first. Not surprising. Opening hand is Arch, OV, Extravagance, Gamma, Misk. Um, this is good. One high impact hand trap, Misk, OV, and then has Extravagance. So yeah, that's good. Then he has Durendal, Gear Freed, Renon, Talents, Durendal. So his hand's combo. Normal summon Renon, equip Durendal, Durendal effect. It's gonna get him Fire Flint Lady. And then special summon. Get rid of those two for a sold. Effect descend. He's gonna gamma him. Then if he wants, he could choose to play this really slow and summon gear and pass. Um, and like talents draw or look at the hand like if he looks at the hand with talents and summon gear free like that's pretty good but he could summon gear talents take gamma and then that's needle fiber and then that's combo so he's gonna rip extravagance out of hand banish two add back blade banish to Rendell, summon out gear and then equip blade at blade blade but, um, I think I would have just went for combo, because, like, there's Nib and, like, Ash, but ending on something like this feels, like, really weak. 
Like, I feel like Dino just beats Gear Freak really easy. Normal summon OV effect. I mean, I don't know. With, like, one monster on the board or something, like, it's not horrible. Said, man, I suck. Um, like, he could have... Wonder why he's saying that. Is he thinking, like, he could have just used Misk effect first? Then... Misk bring out something. Wonder what he's thinking. I mean, Misk effect in Grave would, like, force this. Or he could Conductor beat over it as a pill. He's gonna use Misk effect. Attack. Oh, this this is not good. Summon Conductor. Yeah, he definitely messed up somehow. Like, for sure, he could have, like, at least attempted Misk. Um, if he's playing Giant Rex, that could change stuff, too. Because if he's playing Giant Rex, then he could have OV, sent Giant Rex, Misk for two, and then Rex. But then I guess he would just let that go through and then negate Rex. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, he's gonna summon conductor and attack and pass. Yeah, this is uh this is not gonna work out very well versus that. Drills OG ear. He's gonna use Durendal, Durendal effect, add Renaud. And then end of main phase, conductor, chain gear free, get rid of blade to negate that. Summon Renaud, Renaud effect. That's gonna let him add back Fire Flint Lady. Then goes for a soul, the soul effect to add red layer. And then effect the send. Bring out TG Striker, gotta love to see it. Go in the link cross, effect, bring out tokens. And then metal, and the metal bring back, and then drop nib. So he doesn't get hit with Herald, then needle fiber combos. It's pretty good. And he's going to banish two add back blade and has 2,200 by 2,200. Draws ash. And that's not doing anything. Nib attack over token. Imagine if it did 8,000 damage. Draws Colt Wing. I hate drawing that card. Um, said, I knew you had Nib, but I played that so horribly. I meant to Nib on Link Cross, but I don't know. Now that was correct, I was going to go for Tatsunoko otherwise. Setting the Fire Flint Lady, because they already went through both the Sold. Um... He hasn't gone through Needle yet. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with the setting of that. I could have... I don't know. He could have, like, set this. I mean, this does less, right? Like, in hand, this at least is an extender, while this just doesn't do anything. Draws Imperm. He's starting to get a whole bunch of, like, negates... To where you can just nip beat down, set imperm pass, draws all over. Special summon red layer, get rid of blade, bring out all over. Um, and then and then right here, I know this is like the worst way to end the tournament ever, but he DCs into a game loss. So, uh, yeah, um. I mean, it definitely sucks that it had to end like that. What, what would he have even gone into? Like a 6? What Synchro 6 do you go into? Coral? He's not playing Coral. He's playing Power Tool Build. I don't know. What Synchro 6 does the deck actually play? Because I was thinking, like, instead of, like, discarding the special, like, he could have, like, Normal Summoned and then went for Charles... And then Oliver Effect equipped to Charles. He would have to chain Imperm on it. And then Charles would end up just dying next turn, though. Or I guess not, because he could Blade add back. 
a clip it to Charles, beat over Nib, and then that outs Nib, and that's like the biggest thing. So he could have won, but he misplayed and discarded the special summon. Yeah, that uh. Oh, that was bad. So I think, like, the DC just didn't even matter there. Like, he was already holding the L from the misplay. Because I don't think there's any way to, like, come back from that. Because, like, both of his normal summons just aren't tuners. I mean, could have, like, normal summon, I guess, go in the roll end. But then... Yeah, that, nah, that's just not as good as Charles. The Charles play would have actually been crazy. Like, thinking about it, like, it would have actually won on the game. Cause Synchro 9, Blade, Tack over Nib, out to Imperm, um, would have all over equipped to it. So, if he doesn't chain Imperm, then you're going to get the smoke grenade, rip a card out of hand. You just hit Arch out of hand. And then their top deck would have to be, like, OV or something, like, really good to out the board. Like, another Conductor would be able to also... Uh, but that's gonna be it for the video. I know, like I said, this was a like terrible way to end it, but uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, I so shout out to Top Tier Yu-Gi-Oh. I already sent the mat and card, so they're on their way. And then uh, shout out the Blade YGO. Make sure to subscribe to both of these people. Both made it to the finals. Um, and also shout out to Milano the Duels because he didn't. He was in the tournament, but didn't. Like, wasn't on the channel, so make sure to go sub to him, too. Uh, all three other channels are going to be in the description down below. If you guys want to see another Cloud tournament, let me know. Uh, next time, it will be ran a little bit better, just because now I've done it once. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys want to see it again, let me know. Also, to Top Tier Yu-Gi-Oh!, Blade Wide Geo, and Milano, just message me in the next, like, couple days like five days or something like that if you want to be in the next tournament because I think the next video I'm going to have to let people enter is going to come out on the weekend so just message me before that but uh, that's going to be it for the video like comment and subscribe oh oh wait I was going to go over how long the video was or how long the match was but the game one yeah that's awkward but uh that's it for the video like comment and subscribe the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day